Hey guys, my name is Sally from Slime Sweet Pea, and today I'm going to be reviewing the slimes that I got from Momo Slimes. Here are the slimes that I purchased and the total for everything. They were really incredibly generous and super sweet. They included four extra slimes in my package, and I'm so grateful for them. Um, I will be showing the four slimes that I got at the end of the video, but I won't be reviewing them because I said this before, but I don't review slimes that I get as gifts or um, as trades. So first up, we have the slime called Straw BB Bun. It is part of the Shingi Bakery and Momo Slimes collab. It is described to be a DIY fluffy slime scented like strawberry milk, and it really does smell like strawberry milk. It smells so good. Um, it comes with a clay strawberry bun that is just perfectly shaped and has like all these glitters on top. It's just so perfect and it didn't get ruined at all during shipping and at the bottom of the clay there is a little hole where you can put a little bit of the slime base into and when you kind of like spread the bread apart um it just has like inner filling which is i think is like just awesome and i think shinky bakery is maybe the first one to do that i'm not sure but I just think this is like so genius and I love it so much. I really, really, really like the scent of this one. It smells exactly like strawberry milk. The texture ended up being a slay slime that was really fun to poke and squish. And obviously the more you like mixed in the clay with the base, it became really creamy. And because it was a slay slime, it had really good bubble pops. And I just really liked this one. It was like simple, but obviously the DIY aspect it was so interesting and beautiful so I highly recommend it this next slime is called boba chiffon cake the base for this one is also clicky and pretty thin and it also comes with one ounce of white butter slime and a clear brown slime with boba beads in it and it comes with this really realistic clay piece which i was just like so blown away with i loved this clay piece so much and i feel like all of the clays that they use are like super super soft but i think they mold really well so it was just like awesome to mix in with the base the boba beads in the clear slime are not they're not squishy so they'll just like stay intact and i just use a little bit of the brown clear slime to decorate the top of the boba chiffon cake and yeah when you mix everything in together it results into a slay slime and this one feels similar to the previous straw bb bun but i just like really like this brown color that it turns into the scent of this is described to be brown sugar milk tea and sponge cake for me it was like really really light like i didn't smell any of the sponge cake and i i did smell the brown sugar milk tea though which i thought was just incredible but i really wish it was like a little bit stronger because it was so light and i really think the scent was accurate so um, yeah, I really like the scent of this one and I feel like for all of the slimes that I received I did have to activate most of them, but uh, once you do activate them they become a great texture So I do recommend doing that. I feel like this one inflated a tiny bit more than the previous slime But yeah, I really enjoyed playing with this
This slime is called hotdog, and this is another Shingi Bakery Momo Slimes Collab Slime. It comes with this um, base of clear brownish slime. Um, it also comes with two seeds made out of clay and a bag of faux sprinkles and little almonds, Fimo pieces. The scent of this one is honey and I do think it does smell exactly like honey. I loved mixing this slime a lot. It was really pretty and you know me and my obsession with brown slimes so I was really happy with the end color. This slime became really soft and creamy just like the other two slimes. So if you like slate slimes, I highly recommend Momo slimes. This slime is called creme brulee donut and it comes with a six ounce base that is much thicker in texture than the previous three slimes that I reviewed. It's scented like creme brulee and fresh baked donut and I never had this kind of donut before so although I can't say whether or not it's accurate, I do enjoy the scent a lot. It's moderately sweet and it's like really warm and nice. This slime comes with an ounce of clear slime that you can decorate with and a beautiful creme brulee donut clay piece. Uh, once you mix it, it becomes a really soft and squishy slay slime. And this one feels a bit more creamier uh, than the other ones that I mentioned in this video so far. And I really like these soft sizzles that I gave as well. Okay, I think this one may have been one of my favorite scents out of this entire package, which is hard to say because I loved every single one of them. But this is a crunchy snow fist slime and it definitely isn't soft on the hands, but it makes a ton of really great ASMR. It comes with three little clay cookies, an ounce of this brown slime to represent the chocolate syrup, and an ounce of white butter slime to represent marshmallows. And this one also comes with a bunch of java chips and faux sprinkles for decoration which I just thought was so 
awesome like it just looks amazing and once again the scent which is s'mores cookie is just so delicious i highly recommend the slime just for the scent the texture is good too but like the scent that's what made it for me uh, once you mix the slime all together it just becomes another brown slime which is my favorite so i was obsessed with it and once again this is not soft on the hands texture wise but i feel like the scent makes it up for me and also the texture is great because it does make a lot of good asmr sounds so i highly recommend this one as well Honey Bread DIY Kit comes with a clay brick toast and clay whipped cream. Both of them look so insanely realistic and it also comes with some faux honeycomb females and a clear slime to represent honey syrup which you can just drizzle on top and I placed some on the base as well because I had some leftover. The scent of this one is honey and it does smell like honey but it is on the lighter side so if you prefer light scents then you will really enjoy this one. This slime gets really creamy and poofy uh, when you mix everything in together and it inflates a pretty good amount too and it makes soft sizzles just like Momo's other sleigh slimes. This one feels closest to a butter slime though which I really enjoyed because I love butter slimes so I really liked playing with this one a lot. Also if you've never actually had good honey bread I do recommend it. It's like one of my favorite desserts. Next up, I have Berry Berry Frap. This one comes with a snow fizz base that is packed just like the other one that I reviewed. And although it is a bit rippy, I knew that adding the extra add-ins would help. So it wasn't really much of a problem for me. Also, this is scented like strawberry cheesecake and milk. And it smells so delicious. I love the scent so much. It is similar to me um, to the strawberry bee bun scent, but I love both of them. It smells really good. And it came with a bunch of add-ins like this red syrup slime, 
um, which is supposed to represent the strawberry syrup, which I also use to just like decorate the base of this uh, container. And it also came with a clay whipped cream, and I used the container to just like squish the snow fizz, and then and then place the clay whipped cream on top, and then I added all of the add-ins, and it came with a lot. It came with like these bread fimos, some wax pieces, and some red foam pieces. I think I don't know, but it was like a ton of add-ins, which I really enjoyed putting all together. And then when you mix them, it becomes another super crunchy snow fizz slime that I really enjoyed playing with. But to me, it did feel like the s'mores cookie slime but I didn't really mind it because I really liked the aesthetic of this one and that one and I also really enjoyed the scent of both of them so I didn't really regret buying them Okay, so this one, I have a lot to say, but this one has to be my favorite slime from Momo. Um, it seems simple, but I love everything about it. This one came in the large size, so compared to the other slimes, it is a little bit bigger. And it is made from Korean glue, and it's a slay slime that scented like cream soda. And the scent, first of all, is just so delicious and nostalgic for me. One of my favorite um, Korean ice creams is this one called Bongsa which in English is power cap, or that's what it says on the packaging. And it amazed me like how much the slime actually smelled like the ice cream. The scent is not identical to the ice cream, but it is really similar. I just feel like the slime has more of a yogurt scent to it. I'm in love with the scent. Anyway, I'm gonna get into the slime texture. The slime has a bit of resistance to it in the beginning, but uh, within like the first few pulls, it feels like the slime melts a bit even, and it just becomes extremely stretchy and creamy. And I did have to activate the slime a bit because I felt like I wasn't experiencing the full like potential of the slime. Um, the color is just such a pretty baby blue, and it comes with the most adorable elephant charm and my favorite animals are elephants so the slime was just like a hundred percent like right up my alley and it's my favorite slime at the moment so i highly recommend this one This slime is called Teddy Bear Biscuit and this is the last slime that I purchased and this is a wood glue butter slime and it comes with this really adorable cookie charm. It has to be one of my favorite wood glue textures ever. It's like super fluffy and smooth and it feels really great on the hands and it just feels like a classic Momo slime sleigh. And I love the scent on this one as well. It's a chocolate chip cookie milk scent and it smells exactly like a chocolate chip cookie. And the next 
four slimes are extras that I received, which Momo slimes, I love you so much. Thank you for these. I really, really do appreciate them. And I just like love all of them, just saying. Um, but I just decided I'm not gonna talk over all of them. So you guys can just like watch me play with it. Know that I love them. They're so good. They smell so good and they feel awesome. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the outro. Alright, so that concludes this entire video. Thank you so much for watching everything and thank you once again to Momo Slimes. I really, really, really appreciate the extra slimes. I have, I think, two underrated slime shops that I shopped from recently that I'm gonna be posting videos for. So please be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye.